Recently, I was in need of a note-taking application that I could use while watching a YouTube video. Now, this YouTube video was part of a course that I'm following, and so it was important for me to really have a note-taking application that allowed me to take those notes as I watched the video. I also wanted to have some options. I wanted screenshots to be put into my notes, and I wanted to be able to pause the video automatically as I watched. Well, I'm going to give you three applications today that you can use to do just that and take notes whilst watching a video. Now, the three options I'm going to demonstrate today are annotate.tv, which lets you take notes, add some editing, and then export them in a clean PDF. We have a second option called Askify, which allows you to add screenshots from the video as you are taking your notes. It's all built into the extension and you can use it on the YouTube watch page. And then the third option is Luna Notes. Now, Luna Notes is a special one because it has an integration with AI, which also lets you summarize videos and summarize your notes. So let's have a look at these three options, and then you can decide for yourself which of these three is right for you. Now, it does need to be said, all three programs come with both a premium and a free version. If you check the timestamps down below, you will see where I look at the various pricing and what they offer for free versus what their premium option offers. But let's start with the first one. Now, the first one is annotate.tv. Go ahead, sign up with your Google account or any other account, and you get access to their free editor. Now, here you can see annotate.net. This is the homepage. I'm going to pop the YouTube link in there and click on Start Annotating. This opens up their integrated viewer. You can see the video starts playing where I left off. And what I can do now is I can start adding in notes. Now, it will sync and store it in the cloud. It will remember it, and it's all linked to your account. So here, let's say that I'm 18 minutes in, and something is mentioned that I find very interesting. Let's say that they are talking about classroom management, and I want to make a note about that. Well, what I can do is, as I listen, I simply add a title to my note. Let's say classroom management. And I start adding my notes in here. Now you can see I have all my basic editing tools available within this page. I can keep watching the video and add my notes as I get more ideas. So for example, this is a note I have an interesting idea. We'll try this next week. Now, how do I know where this idea was mentioned? Well, here on the right-hand side, you can see a annotation starting time. That is automatically added to this note. In addition to that, they have a special feature which lets you look at the transcript of the video and copy the text from the transcript into your notes so you can reflect back on what was mentioned. So, For example, here I'm going to pull in 30 seconds from this video, click on that, and the 30 seconds of that transcript are pulled in. Now I can go through this, I can edit this, I can edit little things in there, copy words, highlight words, underline them, and use them to then later revisit this video and look at my notes. In addition to this, I can store multiple notes for each video. So I'm going to click on OK, create this note. It creates that note with that timestamp, but as you can see, I've also added a note one and a note two. When I click on these, it jumps back to that point in the video and it finds that note. Those are also stored here with little bookmark icons underneath the video viewer. Now let's pause this video for a little bit and let's have a look at the export. Because what good are notes if you can't export them and share them with other people? Well, here on the top left, you are given a number of options. You can create a public link. This is a public link to the video and the notes. You can either share this on Twitter or clicking on the three dots. You can export Markdown export PDF or CSV. I am going to export the PDF file and click on that. This is automatically going to take those notes, information, timestamps, and export a PDF file. You can see that here, it has indented that quotation or that transcript that was pulled in, and it's added my own notes into this PDF file. This can be downloaded, printed, stored anywhere you'd like to use it. So this is one example of how you can use the note-taking functionality of annotate.tv. 
Now, if this is not the type of note-taking experience that you are looking for, well, we have a second option available, and this one is called Askify. Now, Askify is, again, an extension that can be installed, and once it's installed, we now have an additional button underneath the video title where it says Take Notes. It also has a public note. Now, public note, this is the transcript. It's taking the transcript from the video, and then that is what you can look at. But I'm going to take my own notes. Here you can see it automatically logs me in because I have an account created with them and I can start adding in my notes. So I'm going to just write interesting idea as I did before, but this time let's do it a little bit differently. Let's first of all, pull in the transcript. This also has a transcript import tool. Here you can see I can automatically get the notes last 15 seconds of the transcript. Let's pull that in. It automatically adds the timestamp as well. And to make it even more user-friendly, depending on the video that you are watching, sometimes we want to add in a screenshot. I'm going to click on Snap. This automatically then adds in that screenshot as well. And this becomes part of my notes. I can continue to take notes. I can continue to add notes. As the video continues, more can be added to this note. And every time I add in a screenshot, every time I add in a transcript, the timestamp is automatically added into my notes. Let's say that you're now ready to export this note. Well, similar to before, we can create a PDF file. Here at the top, you'll see export as a PDF. I can click on that. It brings me into the Askify dashboard a little preview of what that will look like, and then I can export it as a PDF file fast or with no image breaks. I'm going to quickly export this, and you can see here it's exported into a neat and tidy PDF. Now, what you will notice is that these PDFs do come with ads. So here at the bottom, you will see there is an ad here for this application called Askify. So in that sense, Askify is ad supported, if you want to remove those Askify ads, then you will also have to upgrade to use a premium version. The free version, check out the timestamps below where I go over the various pricing. Which brings me to the third note-taking app. Now, this is the one that I decided to go with when I needed to take some notes on this video. And that is the Luna Notes option. I've already installed Luna Notes, the extension, and I've signed up for a free account. Now what you will see is on the right hand side of my YouTube view page, it says Luna Notes. When I click on that, it expands Luna Notes, the actual extension, and I can start adding in notes. Now, as you can see here on the right hand side, I already have added in various notes about different areas and different times in this video. So let's go ahead and create a new note to demonstrate how this works. I'm going to click on create a new note. This is a example and I'm going to press play on the video. And the video is playing and I can start adding in my notes. So for example, register wars is an interesting idea. And that's something that was mentioned in the video. Now I can add in timestamps by simply clicking right here and this will link this note to the current timestamp. There we go. Here in the top right corner, you will see that timestamp connected to that note. But maybe you are looking for a more in-depth note-taking experience and having a video continuously play as you are taking your notes is not the way that you would like to work. Well, that's exactly what I was experiencing. I wanted to take longer notes and I also wanted to pause the video as I took my notes. Well, Luna Notes lets you do that. Now, by going into your settings, you can change it. So here I'm going to click on the three lines and go into my settings. Now I'm going to automatically pause the video when I'm writing the notes. I'm also going to automatically resume the video when I've finished writing my notes. So let's go ahead and try this out now. I'm going to play the video, return to my, return to my notes, I am typing a note, interesting idea, and I'm going to continue watching. As soon as I click out of the note, the video continues playing, and now, oh, I want to add another note so I can go back in. Maybe try this next week. Okay, I finished. I click out of that note, and the video automatically continues. 
This was an experience that made note-taking super convenient and incredibly easy to do. Now, by clicking on the export button, you can export your notes right here. So when I click on yes, export, this is automatically exported into a spreadsheet file. In addition to this, I can also go to individual notes, click on the three dots, and I can either move these to another video, open them in the app, or delete the notes. Now, I did mention that Luna Notes is different from the others because it also comes with AI integrated. For example, here I used the generative AI functionality to summarize the video, and it came up with this beautiful summary of the entire video in no time. Now, this AI feature is very limited in their free version, so if you really want to make use of this, you will have to upgrade to their premium offer. So talking about that, let's have a look at what all of these offer in terms of free versus premium versions. Now, here we have Luna Notes. Now, Luna Notes pricing is very straightforward. It goes from no cost with some basic AI tools and an advanced screenshot editor, exporting notes and basic support to advanced tools, collaboration features, integrations, early access to various features and priority support. Now, this does come with a price tag of $9.99 at the moment. Bringing us to the second option discussed today, Askify. Again, Askify also comes with a free and premium version. So here we have the various versions available within Askify. We have the free version. You get 50 screenshots a month. Now, at the moment, there is no premium available yet. They have an essentials. This is $2 a month, and it gives you the option to not have any ads, multiple languages, export unlimited screenshots, etc., without any of their ads onto your PDF files. And Annotate.tv also has a fairly straightforward pricing model. Free, you can use YouTube videos, Vimeo videos, and up to five videos. Then once you've exported your notes, you'll delete that and you can create more videos. However, if you go for their $5 a month premium plan, then you have YouTube videos, Vimeo videos, but an unlimited number of notes and unlimited number of videos. This also allows you to create various export formats. You can export to PDF, export to Evernote and Notion in Markdown format. So if you're looking for that integration, then that would be the option for you. I hope you found this video helpful. All three platforms have something that makes them unique. They all have a free version. They all have a premium version. And none of these sponsored this video. I was simply looking for a solution to a problem. And these are three options I found in order to take those notes. I also want to say a quick thank you to all our channel members. Thank you for making it possible to make these videos. If you would like to join our channel membership as well, find that join button at the bottom. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, that's the best way to support us. Click on subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of new videos and always stay up to date with the latest in EdTech. I hope you found this helpful. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.